Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Tile Tuesdays, where every Tuesday there is a brand new tile. Guys, if you have any suggestions for future Tile Tuesday episodes, then please leave them down in the comments below. But today, we have dug ourselves very deep into the earth to do some deep rock mining. That is right, guys. So I have created a tile here and spawned in some creations, as you can see down there. They look absolutely tiny, but do not be deceived because they are actually huge, and that is just how huge this mining hole actually is. So we're gonna be playing around with some of these creations. We're gonna be driving down this precarious looking pathway as well, and we're gonna try and mine some rocks. So let's get into it. All right, so I am inside of my little pickup truck here, and we are gonna drive our way down to the center of the mining quarry. Uh, so this was, of course, modeled after what you would typically see in the real world. Um, they have these very gradual uh, slopes that bring you down to the bottom, and they slowly usually spiral around the exterior perimeter of the entire mining zone. So you can see here, though, it is a very gradual slope, and the reason for that is because we have a massive dump truck, and in real life, you know, these massive dump trucks, they carry massive amounts of, uh, of different loads in the back. So obviously, in this case here, we're gonna be loading in some rocks, and I'm super excited. Whoa, I almost just lost it. That's how excited I am right now. Uh, so I did create this massive hole in the tile editor, and I created this really nice slope path. Um, and I added a whole bunch of massive boulders inside. So here we are though. We are now at the bottom of the quarry and just look at this. So we were, I think, where were we? Way up on that side over there on the left. Uh, and you could see just how tiny those things actually looked. But you know what, let's just kind of park the contractor's truck right here. So in this quarry, there are three different vehicles that we're gonna be using over here. You can see we have the giant bucket wheel excavator. Now this is something that I did a video on a while ago. This is a very old vanilla creation of mine, uh, but I figured it was just too perfect to finally put it to really good use. We are also gonna be using my little excavator over there. That's what we're gonna use to pick up the modified rocks. And over there, we have a beautiful dump truck that we will be taking a look at and try trying to bring those rocks all the way back up and out of the quarry. So, let's start off with this massive creation. This bucket wheel excavator is extremely massive. Now, it does not give any truth to the size of one of these in real life. A real bucket wheel excavator is just massive. It's, it's unfathomable to how large they are. So I tried to make this one as big as I could while also giving it some detail work. And like I mentioned, it's completely vanilla, so I'm really proud of this one uh, from back in the day. All right, so I do have a little staircase right here, and let's see, what's in here? All right, so this is just kind of like the steering and motor compartment. We can keep on going up here. I did make this all out of wood, uh, just to make sure it was as light as possible. Uh, so you can see it has a nice catwalk. Oh, I guess the catwalk ends right here. Let's just hop right over and go into the main area. So what do we have here? This is just a few more little control zones here. And then we go up into the main hub. So this thing is massive, like I mentioned. Uh, but there's a couple of areas that we can control this thing from. So this section right here is the actual driving mechanic. So if we press 2, that is our reverse key. And look at the size of this thing. Uh, we can turn the wheels by using A and D. You can see they very, very slowly turn. And they can turn the other way as well. And this thing is just so big, it does not move fast whatsoever. So this is the driver's seat, that is all it does, but it does do one other thing, and that is lock and unlock the entire part that does turn. So we can just leave that unlocked right there, and we are going to make our way down this second catwalk. Look at this, this is so cool. It brings us right down the main arm, and we just have to hop right down into this seat here. And this is the main seat that you can actually see everything from. So, we can press A and D in this seat, and because it is unlocked in the back, you can actually see, guys, this whole thing does turn uh, from left to right very slowly. Uh, but nonetheless, it is so cool to see. Uh, so you can actually dig some rocks. So let's do that right now. We're gonna lower the entire thing down like so. And boom, there we go. We're gonna touch the ground. And now we can just very easily start spinning the excavator. Look at that 
we're not really digging anything. All right, so maybe one day Scrap Mechanic might have a deformable type of landscape that we can actually manipulate and move stuff and actually have to harvest stuff uh, from down below. Either way though, let's just bring that back up. So let's pretend that we actually did use these bucket wheel excavators successfully and we actually did get some stones here. So this is using the Ikey Vegetation mod. He has a really nice rock in it. Uh, but I did have to modify it and create a little bit of a handle on the inside of it here uh, because these hitboxes are not the greatest on the rocks. You can't actually really pick them up because they are just a one block uh, physical entity in the game. Uh, so let's hop into the excavator over here and try and pick one of those up. And I guess we'll dump it into the dump truck and we will try and bring it out of the quarry. Alright, so we're in the excavator. I'm gonna try my best here to grab one of these stones. Uh, let's try it out here. Alright, so I'm just gonna line up just like this. Like I said before, there is a little handle under there. And that is so we can actually grab onto the thing. Now this is the hardest part and that is actually grabbing onto it. It's a lot easier said than done, but let's see here. Let's do that. Press 6 and there we go. I do believe we have grabbed onto the rock. All right, perfect. So now we can bring this mined rock over to the uh, dump truck over here. I'm not gonna lie, this excavator is not my proudest build. It is extremely wobbly and it has a tendency to want to fall over. All right, we're at the dump truck. I think I need to press five. There it is. All right, we're gonna raise the stone. Now this is probably gonna lag. Yes, it is extremely laggy, but it is so worth it. Let's try and get the stone into the back of the truck here. Open up the grabber. Yes. All right. Still no FPS. There it goes. All right, we have successfully ditched the rock into the back there. I wonder how much lag is going to remain. All right, so we've backed up. And look at that, guys. We have managed to keep a rock inside. I'm not lagging too much, which is very impressive for this game. Uh, but let's check out this dump truck and bring the load up to the top. So this is absolutely a beautiful dump truck. This was created by Super Simpa. I, I went to the workshop to find one. I thought I had built one and saved it on the lift from a long time ago. Uh, but apparently I didn't, and I don't really have any of my creations saved anymore. Uh, so this is just a beautiful truck in the game, guys. I think he did a fantastic job of detail work and just making it look absolutely fantastic. All right, look at that. Nice automatic ladder there. All right, so we are up on the top here. Um, let's see, what does this do? Ooh. All right, so we do have a control area here. We got some work boots on the inside. Not bad, not bad. And I guess we do need to get into the driver's seat somehow. I think actually the best way to do it is from down here. You can see the seat just like that. All right, perfect. All right, so we have a single rock in the back. That is right, guys. We are running this entire show to move one rock at a time. You know what? No, one rock? Come on now. I am going to take those other two rocks and put them back here. So no doubt the lag is probably going to be extremely deadly uh, once I get three rocks back there. But you know what? It's just, it's for the sake of science of scrap mechanic. I just need to see if I can get all three of these in there. Uh, so let's line this up just like that. We'll press, nope, okay, almost had it. A little bit more, there it is, okay. We are now grabbing on to our second rock. Ah, oh, beautiful. And now we're just gonna have to turn our way over to this dump truck here and zip along. All right, I am ready for the FPS drop. All we gotta do is drop that rock in and back up as quick as we can. And we should be good to go after that. All right, so there's the mad FPS drop but we do have the rock right over top of the bed here. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, I am wobbling around this. Okay, the physics are acting kind of strange. There we go. I have successfully dropped that second rock backing up now. Let's see if we gain our FPS, and yes, we did. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's grab a third one. Here it is. It's all or nothing, guys. This is the third and final boulder that we are going to try and load in. Oh, God, the FPS drop. It's terrible. You know what though, sometimes you gotta do this. You gotta push Scrap Mechanic to the limits and and really see what you can and can't do. 
and I feel like we are slowly getting somewhere that we can't do. Uh, but here we go, this is the third boulder. Come on, please just drop in. I know you want to let go, and there it is. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's just slowly back away because we have no choice because I have four FPS at the moment. All right, now please, scrap mechanic, let my FPS come back. All right, so the FPS barely came back. I have 13, 14, uh, not the greatest amount of FPS, but you know what? I think it's time we just try and drive this bad boy. All right, we got the three boulders. Let's see how this goes. You know what? No, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the experience here, guys. So let's actually just ditch one of those boulders there and uh, try and go up with two. Okay, I got rid of one of the rocks, and the FPS did get a little bit better. Um, it drops, it comes, it goes as the rocks in the back there bounce around. Um, but let's just kind of make our way up, spiraling around and out of this quarry. All right, there we go. Look at this, guys. We have successfully exited the mine with our new boulders harvested from the quarry there. Absolutely amazing. And look at that. I love you can see as we drive around. I know the FPS drops are pretty bad, but look at that. You can see the boulders rolling around and stuff like that in the back of the truck. And it just looks so cool. Uh, but I guess we might as well actually just back this thing up. And I suppose we will unload these boulders back here somewhere at the unloading area. I figured normally you'd probably have some type of trucks and stuff like that that would come and pick up these boulders and bring them to some type of processing plant. Alright, so we're just going to stop right here. Perfect. And let's unload these boulders. Alright, there it goes. The, uh, the back is opening up. There's boulder number one. Come on now, boulder number two. Two. Perfect. So, that actually worked a little bit better than I was really expecting it to. I really wanted three boulders in the back. I mean, realistically, I would love to fill this thing up with as many boulders as I possibly could without getting any lag whatsoever in the game, and I still have wishful thinking that one day Scrap Mechanic will eventually get there. Uh, so I think the fastest way, though, to go back down into this quarry, guys, is to just literally drive right over the side, right? I know this isn't the safest way to do it, but let's do it anyway! Oh yeah, look at this flying dump truck! Yes! Oh wow, jeez, I can't believe I just landed that. And are we gonna stay up? Yes, we are! Perfect! Alright, so we're back in the quarry now. Anyway guys, that's going to be today's episode of Tile Tuesdays. I really hope you did enjoy these builds and the new tile. And if you enjoyed the video as well, then let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel as well. Maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. And I guess I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.